Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to play my version of Walking Blues. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So just before we start, there's one thing I want to go over and that is slides. Um, in the original video I used this one, which is a, a Dunlop brass slide. Uh, but these days I tend to favour this little, little bad boy, little glass slide. It's a bit, I uh, don't know if you can see that, but it's a bit shorter. Um, just gives you a bit more flexibility with your being able to use your fingers on the slide at the same time. So I will leave it up to you which one you want to do. This one has a bit of a harsher sound. This one's quite a bit softer um, in, in the sound, but I'll be using the glass one uh, for this lesson instead of the brass one. But yeah, if you want to get the same sort of sound as I did in the original video, this is, this is the one you want. So I'll leave it up to you. You pick which one you want and we'll get into it. All right, so walk and blues. First things first, we better get in tune. This guitar's currently in standard tuning, uh, but we wanna go down to open G. Easiest way to do that without a tuner is your top strings D, so tune that bad boy down. Like that, make them sound the same. Same with your G, your A goes down to G. And your bottom E string goes down to D, so you can use um, your fourth string to tune that one. Beautiful. Now I use Open G a lot. Open G is probably one of my favorite tunings. Um, just because you tune your strings down so you're not putting as much tension on the neck and uh, if you chuck a capo on the second fret you're then effectively in open A so uh, you can do a lot with with open G. But enough of that let's get into the song. So the main riff for the song is this one. To achieve that, it is just your, which is your G string, your A G string, your fifth string, and then your open D, so, and then first finger on the second fret of your D string, and then second finger on the third fret of your D string. So then you're using this hand to give it that kind of percussive percussive sound so you and you're doing little pull-offs um, so if you practice that on just the one string with the two fingers just and then bring in that G string So then there's one more note that we bring in there and that is this, uh, what is it, third fret on the fifth string. So and then you hit that third fret there. So. At the moment there's no slide, no slide at all. So we'll start introducing the slide now. So I'll just pick mine up. And as I said at the start, I'm using a glass slide instead of the brass slide that I used in the original video. So what we can do now, um, so I play this different every time, but I have like general rules that I use when playing this, um, which is what we'll, we'll go by. We'll, I'll give you the general ideas and then you guys just build on that yourselves. Um, so we can do it just with using our finger for that C note. Sounds pretty good. Or we can go and just use a slide, just slide into that third fret. Or 
you can use a combination of both. So that's that riff that I use for, for walking blues and then when we do the chord changes we just use the slide, we slide up to the fifth fret. Third fret. Up to the seventh. Fifth. That's your 12 bar blues, that's, that's um, your basic 12 bar blues and that's the way that I play walk and blues. Now, on an occasion, on an occasion I might throw in a turnaround to kind of finish that off, so I might do a... done but <laughs> you get the gist so like that so how I'm doing that is you do uh, third fret on your fourth string and third fret on your uh, first string and I use uh, hybrid picking so I use my pick and then I also use uh, this middle finger here as well so so you can do uh, fourth string, first string, and then sometimes I'll throw in that second string as well. So we'll go like that. And you just work your way down the fretboard. So. And then you on that last one, that's just your fourth and your first string together. So. And then up to that seventh. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm making sense. Um, I'm not. I'm not a guitar teacher, so I'm not. I don't really teach people things, but that gives you the general idea of how we do the riff. So. It's not all in this left hand, uh, a lot of it comes from this right hand and it comes with using that to mute um, and, and hitting that body. Um, you can probably hear me hitting that body now. So, so you're going like that, I've got no stomp box at the moment, I'm not using any stomp box, um, which I do use in the video, but at the moment I haven't included that because it's, uh, it's just kicking the foot to the beat, so we don't need to put that in here. Um, so yeah, if you listen to it. exaggerated my hand there but if you watch my right hand you'll see um, I'll exaggerate it so you can see what I mean see I'm hitting it with the beat like that and that gives you that kind of percussive sound and as you speed it up and Once you get that down, um, let's get to the fun stuff. So for the guitar solos, um, I'm just going to show you a few ideas of, of what I do. It's all improvised solos, so I'm just going to throw you a few ideas and uh, let you guys work around with that and see what you guys come up with. So uh, as we're in G, um, you can take your third string. Uh, which is G, and the frets to remember uh, third, fifth, seventh, tenth, and twelfth 
frets. So if we're in G, it helps that our third string is also G because we can do um, little licks like this just, just along the G string using those uh, third, fifth, seventh, tenth and twelfth uh, frets. So you can do something like... You know, something like that. Um, and then if you add in the uh, fourth string, your D string, uh, if you add that one in, you can um, you can do even more. So you can so that was mostly third and fifth fret and open strings on the third and and fourth strings. Um, so one other fret that I add in when I'm soloing is kind of more like a passing note is the second fret um, on the G string. So you can go. So you use it more as a passing note if that makes sense. So. Yeah, basically in that song, I just muck around with that sort of um, that sort of idea, um, I suppose, of just using those frets. And so when you're doing the main riff, you're going from the main riff. So then you do that stop. So that's all third, fifth, and seventh. So um, pretty common lick for me to play with that uh, when I go to that uh, fourth chord. So I'll or generally want to use a lot is where I'll slide straight up to the seventh fret on the uh, third string. So and then from the seventh fret down to the third. So something like that. Like. muck around with those positions and, and kind of work those things out. Um, so then we can go up to the fifth and because we're on the seventh fret now we can be on the seventh fret you can do a slide up to the tenth something like that you know and that's all just using the third string uh, and a little bit of the fourth string, and just those frets I told you, three, five, seven, 10, and 12. So another lick that I use in there is just the, probably everyone's first um, slide lick up on the 12th fret. You know, if you listen to Elmore James, you hear a lot of that, so. Very Elmore James sounding, so. And that's just the bottom three strings at the 12th fret. So from there, what we can do, if we remember, we can use the 10th fret and the seventh fret. This time we're just gonna use the 10th. So we're gonna go on the second string, slide up to 12. Like that, you can start from anywhere on the fretboard that you like. So you can start from down here. You can start from up here, whatever you like. So we're going to go 12, and then while we're there, we're going to hit the 12 on the first string, like that. And then we're going to go down to the 10th fret on the first string, and then from the 10th fret on the second string, back up to fret 12. So we're going. And then to finish it off, 12th fret on the third string. That note there. So that's a nice little lick for you, so. And then that bit there is um, from Eric Clapton's version of Walking Blues. It's just um, 
12, 11, 10 on the um, third and second strings. So I always found it, found it to be very Hawaiian sounding myself. But uh, I don't know much about Hawaiian music, so. Um, but yeah, so that's the basic principles around the solo. Um, one lick that I do do, which I'm keen to show you, uh, we'll put the slide down for this one. Um, so this is a really cool lick that you can use in this open tuning, um, but you can also transfer it to standard tuning, and I'll tell you how to do that after um, I show you it. So this involves a little bit of hybrid picking, so your pick, uh, this is if you play with a pick, you've got your pick and then your middle finger, this one here. And we're just using that same principle of 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th and 12th frets again. What we're going to do is we're going to play the open 5th string, so your low G string. And we're going to hammer on to the 3rd fret. So, And then with our middle finger, we're going to pluck that 3rd string, the other G. So you're going... And then we're going to go open string again. So the same, exactly the same thing, but instead of hammering onto the third fret, we're going to hammer onto the fifth. So we're going like that. Now, when that's fast and you get that down, you can go. And I use that in the song uh, through the solo, so I suggest you practice that without the slide on your finger because the slide can be a bit cumbersome sometimes. So yeah, you're going. Use that in a combination of different ways. Um, yeah, you can go from the three to the seven, from the fifth to the tenth, or however you want to use it. Uh, And um, yeah, I use that one in there and yeah, practice that one. I really like that one. So the, the way to transpose that into standard tuning is if you're playing in first position, in the E position, um, you can do that. So your top string would be E, you'd hammer on to the third fret and then you'd pluck the fourth string, the D. And um, and yeah, it works. It, it works. It's, uh, it sounds really nice. I like it a lot and I use it quite a bit when I'm playing in standard tuning. Um, so yeah, muck around with it, have a go. Uh, you can do that, yeah, till the cows come home. You'll be right. So we'll put our slide back on. And that's pretty much it for the solos. The, um, so now we'll talk about the, uh, the ending of the song. And it's just one little lick that I just wanted to show you uh, before we sign off the video. Um, so it's just this one. And this is all, it's a really, really simple, as you can see, all it is is sliding up to the 12th fret on the bottom three strings, but strumming um, the fifth and fourth string as well. So they're open. It's really nice sounding lick, but it's all about slide positioning. And that's why I quite like this, um, as I said before, I like this shorter um, glass slide at the moment. Um, it's a little bit trickier with the with the longer brass one um, because it's, it sits further down on my finger. Um, so the way that I hold the slide is um, to that second knuckle. It sits just above that so I can still curl my finger up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I can still curl my finger. I don't have it all the way down like that because it makes it too hard for me personally to, to play. Um, so I have it down there. And um, yeah, but the, the lick is just go from there and from down the bottom of the neck. And that's the ending of the song. Now another little trick that I want to show you is there's another way to do that which sounds really really cool. 
because we're in an open tuning, we can do harmonics at the 12th fret. Like that. So if we, instead of sliding up to the 12th, did the harmonics. Like that. If you do the harmonic, take your slide down here and start from behind the nut. You can slide it up, so. Gives you a really nice high pitch sound. So thanks for watching the lesson. I hope you really learned something from it. I hope you got something from it. There's something new that you can learn um, and apply to your own playing. Um, so make sure you leave a comment, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.